Well, now you may wonder how I unlock the phone with a simple chipset. Well, that chipset is called HID device or we can call it USB rubber ducky, which we are going to learn in this video. Hello everyone, I'm Aniban Roy, an ethical hacker and the founder and CEO of TechGen Cyber Solution Private Limited. So guys, let's get started. This channel does not promote or support any illegal activities. This video is for education purpose only, to educate you on cybersecurity and make you aware of cyber threats. Use your knowledge carefully and wisely. Me or my channel will not take any responsibility if you use it for illegal purpose. I got so many comments and texts from you guys to show how to unlock an Android using USB rubber ducky. So over here I am using this board which is DigiSpark and you will get this board within 200 to 500 in any online store. I will provide the link in the description you can check it out if you want to buy it. Now this board will work as a HID device or a human interface device as I told you earlier. Now I already made a previous video on USB rubber ducky and how to make it work and how to configure it. So you can find that video in the description or over here somewhere. Because in this video I will not cover all the softwares and configuration which I am using. So please check out that video if you haven't checked yet. So let's get into our computer screen. So these are the requirements we are going to need. First is DigiSpark board. Second is a converter and thirdly a mobile phone if you have all this then we are ready to start so finally we are in our computer system and now firstly we need a software which is Arduino now if you don't know from where you can download it you may check the link in the description we'll get it over there or check my previous video where I showed all the setup and everything so this is the software let's open this So over here, this is the actual code. It's already written. You don't need to do anything over here. You can just simply click on this check mark. This will verify, verifying sketch. So let's wait for it to complete. Okay, so the verification has been completed. Now let's upload this. For that, we need this board, DigiSpark. So firstly, over here, we'll click on this upload. Now wait for it. You'll get to see your message over here. Now, after you see this message, you can just plug it in in your computer and this will get uploaded. So let me plug it in. So now if you see it's written, okay, it's completed, 100% successful, thank you. So that means our board is now ready, ready to attack. So let's open a text editor and see if this code is working or not. So let's open this now. I'm gonna plug this board in my computer. So let's see. Let me get this board and see over here. I'm not typing anything over here. So let's see. Okay, so it started giving one, two, three, four. And after that, it's waiting for 30 seconds because after we give four or five wrong attempts, the or screen automatically get locked for 30 seconds. So it's gonna wait for 30 seconds and then again start attacking from next. So now if you see it stopped at 4 then uh, again after waiting 30 seconds it start from 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then it's again waiting. So let's wait. So you see again it started. Now this is how it's gonna attack continuously. So let's stop this attack over here. So I took it out. Now the question is you may ask that how you will get this code. So check the link in the description. I will provide this code in the description over there. So now let's check this board in our mobile phone. Let's get to see. So this is our phone. Now let's connect the DigiSpark board. Now wait for it. So now if you see it started giving pin. Now after giving four wrong attempts, it is waiting for 30 seconds. Then again, it will start giving pin after that. So if you see it unlock the phone with the correct pin. So as you see it may take time but it's definitely going to work and please you don't connect any random pen drive or chipset with your computer and mobile phone if you want to be safe from it. 
So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel.